So I've just showed you how to identify both types of spammy link building. The next step is defending your website from these spammy links. The first protocol would be to reach out to all of the websites and ask them to remove those backlinks. If they don't, then your best bet is going to be disavowing those backlinks. Disavowing links involves uploading a list of links to Google in a specific format which basically tells Google, I don't vouch for these links, please ignore them. To do this, we're going to be using SEMrush, which is another reason why I recommend this software as you can do so many things with it. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be using the same website which I showcased in the last video, which was blesscbd.co.uk. So to find all the spammy backlinks, let's just copy the URL, go over to SEMrush, carry out a search, and then once information has loaded, we want to go over to the left-hand side of the pane and click backlinks. However, before I do that, let me just go ahead and click UK to make sure we have the right database selected, as again, it's the same website and it's a .co.uk domain. So let's go ahead and click backlinks. And then if we go over to our overview tab, which should be selected by default, again, just to confirm, although I ran through it in the last video, the negative SEO attacks seem to appear in April, as that is when they had the majority of referring domains built to the website. So let's go over to backlinks. And then what we can do, we can actually view those backlinks, which were built in April 2020, review those backlinks, and then decide if we should disavow them or not. So we can see when the backlink was built by looking at the column which says first seen. And as I showed you in the last video, you can actually export all of these backlinks and then just filter through the spreadsheet to see which backlinks are relevant and which one should actually be disavowed. But essentially, once you find a backlink which you'd like to disavow, all you need to do is click this plus icon in the right hand column, which is under the column which says disavow. So let's just pretend that this is a really bad backlink and it's one we haven't built ourselves. It's very spammy and was most likely built by one of our competitors as an attempt for negative SEO. Then what we want to do is go ahead and click the plus icon under disavow and then it will give you two options to move the link as a domain or move it as a URL. You always want to opt for choosing domain and not URL. The reason being is if you click the main, what this will actually do, this will add a domain to your disavow list and not the URL. So if you have multiple links all coming from the same domain pointing to your website and you select URL, it's only going to disavow one URL and not all the links coming from the domain. Now, typically when it comes to negative SEO and people building tons of low quality spammy links, what they'll do, they'll actually build over 100 different spammy backlinks all from the same website. So instead of disavow 100 different URLs, you can actually just go for domain. And what that will do is disavow every single link coming from the same domain. So let's go ahead and click domain. And as you can see, it says domain has been added to your disavow list. So this will be the same process for all of your backlinks. You just go through the backlinks, review the date. We have a link right here from builderwppage.com, invisible WordPress themes, which really and truly has nothing to do with CBD, which is what the website is about. So again, if this is a website you'd like to disavow, you can go ahead and click the plus icon to add that to your disavow list. Once again, go for domain, and you can see the domain has been added to our disavow list. So essentially what you want to do is go through all of your backlinks in the period where you saw a massive increase in referring domains and get them added to your disavow list. Now, if you're ever unsure whether you should disavow a domain or not, you can always open the website URL in a different browser and check out the website's domain authority. If the website has a low domain authority, then you definitely want to disavow that website. So that covers the first strategy, which is disavowing tons of low quality spammy links pointing at your website. Now I'm going to show you how you can disavow backlinks, which are using over-optimized anchor text or irrelevant anchor text. So to do so, all we need to do is first find those websites which are linking to our website with the irrelevant anchor text. So all you need to do is scroll to the top of SEMrush under backlinks and then go to anchors as showcased in the last video. And then what you want to do is literally click any of the anchor text which you believe is going to be irrelevant. So maybe this anchor text right here, it says scam. And you can see it's linked to this website over 6,000 different times. This is essentially 6,000 different backlinks and not 6,000 referring domains. So let's go ahead and give this number a click. And as you can see, we can now see all of the backlinks which are linking to this website using the anchor text scam. 
Now, what we want to do is go links per referring domain and click that to one. And you can see that 6,000 is now going to go down to just 801. So it's the same thing we want to do here. Once we've got a short list of all the referring domains which are linking to our website using irrelevant anchor text, we want to go ahead and simply click add to disavow list and then go for domain. So you want to go ahead and do this for all the domains which are using the irrelevant or over-optimized anchor text. So once you've gone through all of your backlinks and you've submitted them all to your disavow list, the next step is to download your disavow list and actually upload it to Google. Now, just because you've added these domains to your disavow list within SEMrush, it doesn't mean Google automatically knows about them. This is why we have to carry out the additional step of actually downloading this list and then uploading it to Google. So to view all the domains you have on your disavow list, all you simply need to do is get the bottom right here, which says disavow list. And you can see to the right of it, it says number five. This means that I have five domains added to my disavow list. So let's go ahead and give this a click. And as you can see, SEMrush has now listed what those five domains are. So once you're happy with the domains you have on your disavow list, you can go ahead and click export to TXT which if you open the downloaded file, it will look something like this. Exported from semrush.com, domains, and then it lists the five domains, and then it has URLs at the bottom. So we don't actually need these two lines at the top, so they can be deleted, and we don't need the URLs at the bottom as well. Literally, all we need is this part right here, domain, colon, and then the name of the website, which we'd like to disavow all the backlinks from. So once you're happy with your file, you wanna go ahead and literally save that onto your desktop or wherever you like to save on your computer. And then the next step is uploading this to Google. So to submit your disavow file to Google, what you need to do is go over to Google and literally search for submit disavow file Google. The top link that Google returns to you should be disavow links tool, Google search console, which if you give it a click, it will actually open your Google search console and will allow you to disavow specific backlinks. Now, if you're not sure what a Google search console is, then please refer to the Google search console video, which is showcased in the technical SEO section of the course. So as I don't own this website, bless CBD, I obviously don't have the option to disavow links for that website. I just have my standard ClickSlice SEO agency website here. However, let's just imagine this is bless CBD. I would go ahead, make sure I have my website selected, go ahead and then click disavow links. This will now give me a warning, just asking me, do I definitely want to continue as this is an advanced feature? I want to go ahead and say yes, which is basically clicking disavow links. This is now going to open an option where I can upload a TXT file, which is going to be the one we've just downloaded from SEMrush. So essentially that is how you disavow any bad backlinks that you have pointing to your website. So once that file is uploaded, Google is going to review all the domains on that TXT file and then ignore those backlinks pointing to my website which basically means those websites are not going to have any negative effect on your website. And it means that your website is going to be in good standing order and will not have any negative effects from this negative SEO attack.